Since the beginning of time, every living being that's walked the earth has encountered these, wild, naturally growing plants and herbs that for centuries nourished us. Over time, our modern habits created a disconnect from the natural world, the world that sustained us for so long. Today, however, there is an ever-increasing demand for more natural formulas to support our bodies, which is perhaps a sign that it's time for humankind to go back to our roots. They're natural molecules that our bodies recognize. They're in our genealogy. And the other beautiful thing about whole herbs is not just one single molecule that's been manipulated for a particular purpose. When you put them in a liquid, so they're available, it's like a soup of choices, quantum choices of things that the body already recognizes and can pick out to use. And then you have maybe phytopharmaceuticals in between where there are plant constituents that have been pulled out and concentrated, and they have a role too. We need pharmaceuticals, we need all these choices. People are complicated, but here's a very valuable, important, and practical world of whole herbs that we can rediscover. We're at a threshold with our world, our country, our planet. We need to get back in alignment with nature to create a sustainable future. One of the more interesting plants in the vast portfolio of wellness flora is the osha plant. It can be used in a variety of formulations for many wellness applications, but cultivating and harvesting osha is a delicate proposition for herbalists like Catherine. It's a very valuable wellness herb. Think about where it's growing in aspen groves up at higher elevations. They have to warm and freeze and warm and freeze in order for them to sprout. It's the root that we like. It's different sorts of functionality that go deep, immune support for sure, wellness support, but it is vulnerable, which means that it's so difficult to scale on any volume that there's sustainability issues. The OSHA through a uh, grower in British Columbia, Canada, uh, and they're one of the first people that are offering an actual cultivated OSHA root, um, which falls directly in line with our program as far as minimizing the use of OSHA and, and using it in a more sustainable way. And at the same time, we can actually say, well, this is not wild harvested material. This has been grown uh, and stewarded. We have a responsibility to this plant. And so what we did is we looked for another plant in its same family that would provide a very similar functionality to be sort of the workhorse that was scalable that was cultivatable. And that plant turned out to be lovage. It's kind of shrubby and grows up, and I think that's a good example of our commitment, of my commitment. We had reformulated to use less OSHA root. Lovage root is in the same plant family as OSHA. For the retailers that I work for, one of our strategies was to make sure that we presented two options or, you know, options that were approachable to them in their marketplace. We would have Pepto-Bismol next to uh, digestive enzymes or probiotics and, you know, someone might have a, a sleep product, an OTC sleep product, but we had alternative sleep herbal remedies. Having both options at the shelf could trigger a conversation with the customer and we had a staff of herbalists and practitioners and so that if someone had a question then our staff could provide education and give information to inform the customer as to if they wanted to make that choice. Over time customers started to buy more herbal supplements. How you know that you're doing something right is when someone comes back and says, hey, this worked for me. So when we started growing, it was important that, especially going into these markets that have never seen natural products, that you do offer the options. And the model that we created, it just started to blow up. It's about taking enough for your constitution, for what's going on, for body weight. Everybody's different, and so there's a way where you can learn the beauty of herbs in a liquid is you can play with them to figure out what your body wants in that moment at that time. 
Founded in Colorado in 1979, Wish Garden Herbs is a woman-owned grassroots company that offers an array of formulations for the whole family to support our bodies as we seek to achieve optimal wellness. From immune to stress support, from active lifestyle to optimum recovery, the comprehensive line addresses some of our most common health concerns and overall wellness goals. How I formulate is I think of herbs as a team. On one hand, what are the constituents? What is the physiology that we're after to accomplish the goal? Why do we like tinctures? The first and most prominent reason is because it brings those constituents into solution, which makes them more available more quickly within five minutes. In any particular plant, you have both water-soluble as well as non-water-soluble constituents. Water pulls out a lot of them, but some of the key constituents are not water-soluble. So a little bit of alcohol will help pull those out. Our mission is to be part of a sustainable future, and particularly in regard to helping people rediscover what whole herbs have to offer. To learn more about the power of herbal formulation, go to wishgardenherbs.com or visit a natural products retailer near you.